Today, YouTube will forever be changed as I'm about to impart some of the best kept secrets you wish you knew before you started playing art. Yes, yes, it's that video, ladies and gentlemen. It was back in 2015 that we actually started coming up with drafts and ideas for this video and it was in early 2020 that production actually got started. I've been working with some of the greatest ARK Survival players who have ever lived to compile this list, and all of the people who have worked on this project say that it is the best thing that they have ever been involved in, myself included. So the first tip you wish you knew before you started playing ARK is that when you're running around at night time, Zordons hate fire. They hate fire. Use a torch. Don't run around without a torch when there's Druidons around because they hate fire. And if we turn the fire out, as you can see, they just... But we get the fire out and set fire to them and they run away. So there we go. First tip you wish you knew before you started playing Ark that Druidons hate fire. And the second thing that you didn't know about Ark Survival Evolved was you could paint the flags that you get from your boss fights. You can convince everybody on your map that you've ascended on Delta, Foxtrot and Charlie levels by painting these flags a different colour. The Argentavis, of course, one of the best creatures on any map, but did you know that it can pick up two creatures? It can pick up one small dinosaur in its beak and it can also pick up a creature with its talons. And I know what you're thinking, James, come on, come on, I already knew this trick. Well, that's because you've been on my channel for a long time. But did you know that you can just feed an otter from the Argent's mouth? I bet you didn't know that. All that time you've wasted chasing them otters around and all you needed to do was feed it from the mouth of the Argent. Now, this is clearly a case of a survivor not seeing my video before they walked into this cave. As you can see, we've come to the coldest place on the map to demonstrate that, yes, wyvern milk can in fact insulate you from significantly cold temperatures. Don't be like this guy here. Bring in some wyvern milk next time you're coming into the artifact of the strong cave. But we can't get milk on the island map, James, I know what you're saying. But if you could get milk on the island map, then you can cure all known diseases. This milk is a miracle milk. It will cure every known disease known to Ark Survival Evolved, as well as insulating your character. Wyvern milk. It's miracle milk, not wyvern milk. The cactus broth. Again, a recipe that few survivors utilize, but you should. This is the artifact of the cunning cave, and anybody who's been in here knows how difficult this cave is to do. You need a bread imprinted bassy to even attempt this cave, or you just need to get yourself some cactus broth because this stuff is more effective than Harry Potter's cloak of invisibility. And one extra tip while we're in here for visibility, the gas mask is much better when you wear it underwater. Now we can see everything clearly as we go about dodging it. Now you all recognize this part of the cave. How many of you have died in this corridor just coming down to get this artifact only to be assaulted by everything that's in this little pocket of water? But no. With our magic cloak of invisibility, we can get straight through. Nothing senses us, the angel fish, the electric fish. We are completely invisible. And there we go, one artifact of the cunning. Just coming here with an otter and a couple of cactus broths. You can get as many as you need. This recipe is so overpowered on the island map and in the ocean, you are completely invisible to every fish. Okay, here's a great time saver for all of those who have been healing up their dinosaurs between boss battles and they've got themselves a Deodon. Deodons, they are pretty useful, but they take forever once they've depleted all of their food to fill up again. But we can get around this one quite simply by going out of render distance. So there we go, we've just gone out of render distance and as you can see all food is now back on the Deodon, it's ready to start healing. You can get straight back into that next boss fight, it will not take you too long to heal up all of your dinosaurs if you just go out of render distance. 
My next tip for those of you who've been away from the game for a little while and you may not know that you can now use fertilized eggs as kibble. Yes, that's right. You don't need to set up breeding farms. All you need is a fertilized egg and you can make kibble. One male and one female uteranus is all you're going to need for as much exceptional kibble as you can possibly use in this game. The Equus is a fairly easy passive tame you can get early game but very few utilize this creature's back legs because it can knock out loads and loads of dinosaurs. Raptors, Carnos stand no chance against this horse. I'm telling you, you can't hide from me. Yeah. There we go. Raptor down, no trank hours used. Very, very easy. If you bother to craft the saddle for the Equus, then you can actually craft lassoes on its saddle. And then you can just drag your tames away to a more convenient area. This would help if you've actually downed something in the water. Now the lasso doesn't work against everything. I have tested this on the Quetzal, which would have been quite useful because whenever you knock out one of them things, it could be anywhere on the map. But there is quite a large bunch of creatures that the lasso works with and you can tame these creatures by simply knocking them out with the Equus and dragging them over to a more convenient place. Easy and something that many players do not utilize. Of course, we don't really need any more raptors, so see you later. So we're just at the volcano, and those of you who do the tech cave may struggle to get all of your tames through the door, but you can just put a raft down on top of the lava, and hey presto, the lava doesn't set fire to the raft. From here, you can just put some foundations down, and you can pretty much cover this whole area. There you go, just a couple more. And you can spread rafts all over the place here, making it pretty safe for any creatures to stand on. So the final thing you did not know about Ark Survival Evolved is to do with the update when it comes to the Mammoth. Of course, the TLC for the Mammoth came out recently and it gave us this cool little scream animation that you do with the sea attack. But that's not actually what it's for. Check out my water bar is at the bottom, but I've just filled it up because if we go to the water, the mammoth actually sprays you with water. Now, when you go to the water, it will fill up with two, so you can then walk away. And when your mouth's drier than the Sahara Desert, you can just spray yourself and get your water back. Easy.